Why is it that a couple that says they love each other and really do seem to care for each other some of the time end up in constant fighting, bickering, perennial conflicts in the words of the Gottman Institute, where both parties are left feeling hurt, betrayed, disappointed, heartbroken, and importantly, despite their best efforts, they don't seem to be able to repair and move on and have what we call healing conversations. Well, I'm going to break it down for you in this short video. I'm going to explain exactly why this happens and exactly why it's not your fault, but it is your responsibility if you do want to bring your marriage back or your committed relationship back from the brink of disaster. I'm Dr. Don Russell, I'm a psychotherapist and I'm an expert in trauma healing and trauma recovery and interpersonal neurobiology. And there's the hints about uh, where the solution lies. So let me break it down for you. A couple that's been together for a long time and gets into those perennial conflicts, those, those damaging, destructive fights, they are suffering trauma symptoms by what they're experiencing from their partner, right? The hostile words, the mean behaviors, the ignoring, the dismissing, the um, withdrawal. These cause relational trauma in both people. And as a result, both people, because they've experienced relational trauma, they're carrying that trauma in their nervous system, right? So it's outside of their conscious control. This is why people say that um, I was sitting there talking to my spouse and then he said something and I just lost it. Or she did that thing rolling her eyes and I just lost it, right? That is a reaction coming from the nervous system, literally hijacking the brain, the kind of the higher processes of the brain. And that is the effect of trauma. It's outside of a person's conscious control. It's outside of their um, kind of deliberate management. So what we have in a relationship over a long period of time where people are hurting each other unintentionally is we have two trauma survival responses reacting and tr triggered by each other. <clears throat> now bear in mind Trauma survival responses are survival responses. So basically the part of the brain that is committed to survival has taken over and empathy is no longer available in the brain. Creative problem solving is no longer available in the brain and um, perspective is no longer available in the brain. So the knowledge that this person and I have had a beautiful relationship um, for years and this person and I have had beautiful times together, that information is perspective information and it is offline. It is unavailable. What is available, the only information that's available is I feel like I'm being attacked and I need to defend myself. It feels like my life depends on it. S survival mode. And so two survival modes are interacting with, you th with each other, clashing with each other. And, and basically it feels like, for both people, it feels like survival. I need, to, I need to control, I need to dominate, I need to do whatever I need to do to survive this perceived threat from the other person, right? To see the problem, this, I need to find a way to survive from this perceived threat from the person I'm married to, right? The person that um, in, in another moment, in another day, in another year said, I love you. And, and you said back, I love you. So in summary, what we have going on when we have perennial conflict that can't be resolved with just more communication skills, is what, what we have is we have trauma has 
accumulated in the nervous system and in many cases from the hundreds of clients and patients that I've helped, trauma that one or the other or both people brought into the relationship, the trauma in the nervous system of one of both people gets triggered in the relationship and what started out as a constructive conversation turned into a destructive fight. And we have actually, instead of resolving the difficulty or the difference, we have actually added another episode of traumatization. Now, that's, I believe that is going to be the, the best understanding you've ever heard of why you haven't been able to solve your relationship difficulty on your own already or going to most therapists because most therapists don't understand this frame of reference. In the next video linked up there, I'm going to explain exactly how to resolve this situation because it is resolvable. All right, see you in the next video.